Matthew chapter 24, Mark 13, and Luke 17 are kind of the main chapters that post-tribbers always love to run to to prove the quote-unquote post-trib rapture, even though the word rapture is not even in the King James Bible. But here's how you refute them on that. Basically, uh, basically 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 51 to 58, and I think it's uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 17, are very obviously passages about, passages about the rapture. And both of those passages mention dead saints being basically rising up first. It mentions the resurrection of dead saints. Well, if Matthew chapter 24, Mark 13, and Luke 17 are about the rapture, how come there's no mention of dead saints rising first? Got a bit of a problem there. So whenever they come to you and say, oh, Matthew chapter 24, Mark 13, and Luke 17 is about the rapture, just ask them, okay, so where is the mention of dead saints rising? You know? Just say, show me one verse in Matthew 24, Mark 13, or Luke 17 that mentioned dead saints rising first. It's not there because Matthew, Matthew 20, chapter 24, Mark 17, or Luke 17, and Mark 13 are about the second coming, not the rapture. Okay, they don't line up. They are not talking about the same event. First uh, Corinthians 15, 15, 51 to 58, and second Thess or First Thessalonians chapter. I think it's 4, verse 16 to 17, are about the rapture. Mark 13, Luke 17, and Matthew chapter 24 are about the second coming. They describe the second coming, not the rapture. So that's how you pin them on that. Just say, show me one verse about in those three chapters that says, that mentions dead saints rising first. Not going to find it, because it's not there. So, yeah, wanted to get that out there. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Goodbye.